Miami Dolphins end up benefiting from the trade of veteran quarterback Matthew Stafford. Dolphins offensive coordinator candidate Anthony Lynn reportedly close to landing new job. Jacksonville Jaguars draft Trevor Lawrence while New York Jets draft Justin Fields. Is this an opportunity for the indecisive Miami Dolphins? Miami Dolphins coach many linebackers at Senior Bowl. It's chance to take a look. OK let go. Miami Dolphins end up benefiting from the trade of veteran quarterback Matthew Stafford. While the Deshaun Watson speculation continued over the weekend, another story involving a proven quarterback surfaced and that one could end up being the one that directly impacts the Miami Dolphins. The latest involves Matthew Stafford and the mutual decision with the Detroit Lions for the eight-time 4,000-yard passer to continue his career with another team. But after Stafford is traded, new head coach Dan Campbell and new owner Anthony Lynn will need a new quarterback to lead their offense, and that's where the Dolphins come in. The Lions are expected to ask at least for a first-round pick in exchange for Stafford, which will go along with the seventh overall selection they already possess. The expectation is that the Lions are going to want to draft a quarterback in the 2021 NFL Draft, though their options aren't going to be as good at number 7 as at, say, number 3. The Dolphins have two picks in the first rounds and a clear need for a wide receiver, and logic says they should be able to get either Jamar Chase from LSU or Devonta Smith from Alabama at number 7. That makes them a great trading partner for the Lions, especially since the teams play in different conferences. The Pro Football Network Draft Simulator came up with a proposed trade of the seventh pick and first and third round picks in 2022 going from Detroit to Miami for the third overall pick. It says here the Dolphins should jump all over it if the trade proposal ever, ma ever materialized. Examining the top of the 2021 draft, we can break down who the Lions also could engage in trade talks. It won't be Jacksonville at number one because it would be the biggest upset in the NFL in a long, long time if the Jaguars didn't simply take Trevor Lawrence. At number two are the New York Jets, and there are all sorts of possibilities with them, including a mega trade with Houston for Watson, taking a QB at number two or also trading down, which would make them a competitor with the Dolphins. The three teams between the Dolphins and Lions are Atlanta, Cincinnati and Philadelphia. The Falcons very well could go looking for a quarterback, but the Bengals likely will focus on an offensive lineman, Penny Sewell, and the Eagles aren't likely to go for a quarterback given the financial commitment they have made to Carson Wentz. If the Lions end up trading up, the most logical trade partners are the Jets, Dolphins and Eagles, though some of it might depend on how the draft unfolds. The Eagles are desirable for the Lions because they play in the same conference, though it obviously would be less costly to move from 7 to 5 than from 7 to 2 or 3. Any way this shakes out, the Dolphins have a clear potential trade partner in the Lions, to go along with the San Francisco 49ers, who just might be ready to move on from Jimmy Garoppolo. Dolphins offensive coordinator candidate Anthony Lynn reportedly close to landing new job. It doesn't appear former Chargers head coach Anthony Lynn will be without an NFL job for much longer. The Chargers opted to part ways with Lynn following the end of the 2020-21 season. The decision was warranted given Lynn's struggles as a head coach and misusage of rookie quarterback Justin Herbert. It's only a matter of time before he lands another gig within the NFL, though, and it could come as soon as this weekend. The Detroit Lions are reportedly zeroing in on Lynn for their vacant offensive coordinator position, per NFL insider Michael Lombardi. New Lions head coach Dan Campbell is attempting to assemble an experienced coaching staff. Lynn would be an excellent hire for Detroit. It appears a hire could soon be made. Anthony Lynn's name has been brought up in several discussions regarding offensive coordinator vacancies, but there's a reason he's Lynn reportedly wants to work with head coach Dan Campbell and defensive coordinator Aaron Glenn, per ESPN's Adam Schefter. What can the Lions expect from an Anthony Lynn-led offense? Well, let's just say the former Chargers head coach loves to run the rock. One of the primary reasons Lynn lost his gig with the Chargers had to do with his usage of rookie quarterback Justin Herbert and the offense's heavy rushing attack. Lynn made plenty of questionable decisions to take the ball out of Herbert's hand and turn to the run too often. It didn't work in Los Angeles, but perhaps it will in Detroit. It's not official just yet, but it looks like Lynn is heading to Detroit this offseason. 
Jacksonville Jaguars draft Trevor Lawrence, while New York Jets draft Justin Fields. Is this an opportunity for the Miami Dolphins? Despite the Jacksonville Jaguars having a fairly easy decision to make it number one overall, we have seen pundits wonder if the Jaguars should pull the trigger on Clemson quarterback Trevor Lawrence or instead pass up on him for Ohio State's Justin Fields or even Penny Sewell in some instances, for some reason. Well, this is a new one. The latest to weigh in on the Jaguars franchise altering decision is Pro Football Hall of Fame quarterback Brett Favre, who has an extremely outside the box idea for what the Jaguars should do with the number one pick. I think he's really good, Favre told TMZ Sports about Lawrence to start. I don't know if Jacksonville, in my opinion, I don't know if quarterback is their immediate need. Probably a lot of needs that they have, Favre said. This doesn't factor in Favre's overall point that the Jaguars' greatest, greatest immediate need isn't quarterback. The Jaguars were one of the NFL's worst offenses last season because they had a complete merry-go-round of quarterbacks between Gardner Minshew, Mike Glennon, and Jake Luton. None of those players are truly quality starting passers, which is the biggest reason the Jaguars are in a position to pick Lawrence to begin with. Favre noted he thinks Smith could be a Jerry Rice or Randy Moss-type prospect, which is his biggest argument in favor of the Jaguars taking Smith over Lawrence. I think you go with a guy like that, Favre told TMZ. Nothing against Trevor Lawrence but I think you can find a free agent guy or a guy in the later rounds or mid-rounds in the draft. Considering the Jaguars have failed with both a free agent quarterback and a late, mid-round quarterback in the last two seasons, there isn't much of a foundation for Favre's argument. The free agency class at quarterback will be limited to journeyman and low-tier starters unless Dak Prescott is somehow a free agent too. The NFL has shown one rule to be true year in and year out. If you can get a franchise passer caliber of quarterback, you pull the trigger. Taking Smith over Lawrence would be similar to taking Leonard Fournette over Deshaun Watson and Patrick Mahomes. What is there to gain? Smith could be the best receiver in the NFL and still not be the right pick in this instance. The Jaguars have never had the number one overall pick before, either. Is there any real chance that they use their first ever top pick on a receiver? Even for a Jaguars franchise that has made countless poor decisions in the past, they deserve the benefit of the doubt to not be the first team to pick a wide receiver number one since the Jets picked Keyshawn Johnson in 1996. You see Trevor Lawrence, you see Justin Fields, you see Zach Wilson. As Shad said, this is a monumental moment for this franchise, Jaguars head coach Urban Meyer said last week at his introductory Thus, the Jaguars choose Trevor Lawrence, the chance to draft Devona Smith, Jamar Chase or Penny Sewell will be the decision of the Miami Dolphins. Miami Dolphins coach many linebackers at Senior Bowl. It's chance to take a look. The Miami Dolphins are now just a week away from engaging in the most prominent scouting event of the 2021 offseason, the Senior Bowl. With the coronavirus pandemic threatening much of the status quo in the NFL draft process, the Senior Bowl will continue on as usual. Just with some socially distanced modifications and plenty of COVID-19 protocols for the health and safety of all involved. And throughout the course of this week, the Senior Bowl, courtesy of director Jim Nagy, will be unveiling which players are partaking in the event for which team, either the Dolphins or the Carolina Panthers. Yesterday, the defensive lines were revealed. Here's who Miami will be coaching throughout the week for three days of practice and then the game itself at the end of the week a game itself at the end of the week at perhaps the team's most pressing need. So which prospects are a good fit for what the Miami Dolphins want to do? The Dolphins will undoubtedly be excited to get their hands on Ohio State linebacker Baron Browning, who has been used as a versatile weapon defensively as both a space linebacker and a pressure player screaming off the edge. If you drew up what a multi-threat linebacker would look like in the NFL, it would look a lot like Browning. And Miami will get a week to try to feel out why exactly Browning was unable to fully wrestle a starting role for the Buckeyes during his time with the program. If Miami can unlock his potential, he'd be a great fit. Also an interesting pairing would be North Carolina's Chaz Surratt, who has plenty of coverage upside and length, something Miami's linebacker room is currently lacking. Surratt is perhaps the top-rated linebacker at the event and checks clear boxes of need for Miami, the question come April will be balancing the value of trying to build up their offensive depth chart.